So Vue.js, the progressive JavaScript framework. Well, I'm assuming that again, you have some experience with JavaScript and maybe you've run jQuery or maybe you're familiar with uh, another framework such as Angular or React or Knockout. And you're curious about what Vue does and maybe how it's different. Well, uh, a couple things I talk about is Vue is approachable. Uh, and I would say that's somewhat true. Compared to something like Angular, uh, Angular is much more difficult than Vue. And Vue is, is relatively easy to jump in there and get started with. There is some core concepts that you need to understand and that are very different than jQuery or just vanilla JavaScript, which you may be coming from. And so that part can be a little bit uh, tricky. But I think in general, um, from most of the frameworks and JavaScript frameworks out there, Vue is pretty easy to get started with. Of course, uh, you can use Vue uh, on something large or on a very small project, and you can choose how you implement it. And there's a lots of different ways to implement Vue uh, with packages. Maybe you're using Bower or you just want to run NPM or Yarn and maybe you're using a CDN. So I'll show you some of those ways and methods that you can go in and, and get started with Vue. Uh, it's also very small. So 20 kilobytes in size uh, is quite small considering uh, if you're running something like jQuery or some other libraries that can be much larger than that. So it's got a pretty small footprint for what you're getting and the power that Vue provides. And Vue's, uh, I would say, kind of fun. Once you get the hang of it, it can be very fun to work with the components and things that it goes and does. Before we get into that all, that code and stuff, uh, let's talk about Vue in the sort of system or ecosystem of, of JavaScript frameworks. So it's got quite a few sponsors now. Uh, it was originally started, if you go to the team page here on the Vue page, by Evan Yu. He's the founder of Vue. And uh, you can see there's a couple other people now on the team, quite a few actually, that are going and uh, uh, adding to the code base and improving things. And um, you can see they also have lots of sponsors. There was at first the concern with Vue that it may not catch on and that it, you know, there was a, a massive framework and push for React. And I think the very first time that I sort of was looking at a, a JavaScript front end framework, I was looking at, um, I'd, I'd worked with Knockout previously and a little bit with Angular. And I was looking for something that was pretty easy that was going to do the stuff that I needed, something that I could use on most of the projects and then I wouldn't have to, uh, just have this one thing that's only good for one type of project. And that was important for me to make that distinction. And I looked at React and I looked at Vue and um, I ended up learning Vue first as it was pretty easy to get started. And it, it just seemed like I could throw it up and then add some code to it and it was good. And I would start to get that sort of functionality so I can get that going. Uh, but Vue sort of exploded in the last year, and there's lots and lots of developers who are jumping on board with Vue. Of course, React is also exploding. I'd say these are the two most popular, um, or Angular, I think, has been the big player. Angular, a JavaScript framework by Google. Uh, React, uh, a JavaScript framework by Facebook. And then Vue is the open source one sort of made by the community, I guess you could say. Uh, so it doesn't have a direct backer as Google and uh, Facebook uh, are doing with React and Angular. Um, so you can see that uh, um, pretty much it's not something I think before it was like, oh, is it going to have support or something's going to happen? But you can see there's a, quite a bit of users on here um, that are, are providing support and uh, adding and extending the functionality of Vue. And Vue itself... Uh, as you can see, has 70,000 uh, stars there. So quite the, uh, the library and um, uh, again, pretty easy to get started with. Also, um, you can see some of the support there and it's uh, based on the downloads just this month here was uh, uh, about 800,000 uh, downloads. And that's pretty crazy if you think about that, that's per month. So 
Of course, it's fully covered with unit tests, um, so you don't have to worry about uh, all of that. And then it's NPM 2.52, and it has an MIT license. So if those are things that sort of you're concerned about, it's, that takes care of that as well. And again, you can see that the, it is well funded now. Um, I mean, of course, they could always have more money, right? Uh, the ecosystem itself, there are a lot of packages. Of course, with any JavaScript or PHP framework or any language, it's all about the packages and things that you can go and extend so that you don't have to write all the code yourself. So they have um, Vue Router, Vue X, Vue CLI, Vue Loader, Server Render. And these are just a couple of the major sort of... Um, projects and packages that are going on with Vue, but there's a lot of Vue packages, and I mean a lot, like thousands of them out there, and you can normally find a Vue package for what you're doing, like what you need to look for, or you can just simply write a component. So with that, I'd say Vue is very popular. It's, um, you can see again, lots of contributors to it. Uh, it is a, a great system to get started with. Um, you really need to make the decision, and I assume you've already made the decision on whether you're going to start with Vue or maybe you're going to start with React. And uh, they go about it a little bit different, and we'll jump into some of that about how that structure goes uh, in the next episode.